Hi everyone and welcome to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise, the Plan With Elise, and today we are planning in my dashboard Happy Planner for the week of November 7th through 13th. This is the planner that I use for all things Plan With Elise related, so it's pretty much my like dashboard of business stuff. So I'm gonna use Fall Florals Volume 2 by Kel of a Plan and which stickers? These are the ones I haven't used yet, but I think I'm gonna hold off on them. And let's see. I've used a lot of the stickers in here. These are pretty. Why don't we go with these? What I love about Heather's stickers is that it just makes for an easy spread to put together. And sometimes, you want an easy spread, sometimes you don't have time to do a more complex one. But when it comes to my dashboard planner, I feel like, and I think I say this every week, and I think I also say that I say this every week, but um, I need a lot of the space to be functional for me. So having stickers that I can just like put in to make it decorative, which I prefer, but also not take up too much space in the planner is really key for me. So that's why this layout works for me when it comes to using Heather's stickers. If you're like, you always use the stickers for these, it's because it works and I need something that works. All right, so we've got boxes down here. One, two, we're gonna do two boxes. And these are going to track my changes in terms of um, YouTube and Instagram following from week to week. Now, of course, I'm realizing as I do this that I don't have the small boxes that I would want up here as the headings. So let's see what we have to work with, where I can maybe do something different to kind of have that element. Um, I'm looking at these colors and I'm realizing that I'm trying to think which of Heather's sticker books might have similar colors. So we're gonna need to pull some out. I grabbed Neutral Basics, Pastel Basics, Rainbow, and Bright. I'm pretty sure that Rainbow and Bright aren't gonna have the colors that we need. That purple isn't bad, because there is some purple. It's different, it's a different purple. Hmm. Neutral basics might be the best bet. Because I know we do have this color, which I've used a lot of the stickers from. And we have this, which is the same as this color. So this might be the key, but I'd like one more. This one isn't the exact same, but I think it works. Okay, I'm sure that pastel isn't going to be the one either, right? No. And rainbow, probably not either. That burgundy was pretty. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this one and we're gonna kind of make our own boxes or make our own size. Hair on my hand. So these will be a little bit bigger, I think, than usual, but we're gonna make them work. And then I'm going to slice this edge off. Take that colored piece and put it, try to line it up exactly. There we go. And it's the perfect box. And then we need to do this a few more times. So realistically, I need five. So because I have that one up there, we'll put this one over here. 
And this will kind of be my like get back on track week from coming back from a trip. However, I say that, but I'm usually pretty prepared when I go away. This is my, how many trips this is? I've, I've gone on a decent amount of trips and I usually push so hard beforehand to make sure that I'm coming back to an easier week for myself. So it'll be getting on back on track in terms of schedule, but I think that in terms of content should actually be in somewhat of a good place. You know what, before I take this purple, let me just take another look here. Um, okay, I think we are gonna use this purple. So just again, the same process. I feel like I've gotten better at it over time. That one's crooked as I say that. It's like, oh, nope, I spoke too soon. But it's definitely easier when you have a tweezer to work with because you can really see where this is gonna go. This one I might need to tilt because we were not straight there. but you can kind of manipulate the sticker to go where you want it to make it as straight as possible. And then let's take this purple one. This one I hate to cut this way because I feel like it's a waste It's a waste of such a good sticker, but it's not a waste because it's going to be used. So I will not worry about that. And this is gonna go up here. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to manage the new dashboard for next year, which has um, a longer box down here. So that's gonna take some getting used to in terms of like how it's all gonna work for me, but I am confident that I can figure it out. Okay, one more. Thanks for staying patient for this part. So I'll put this one right here. And then these I'm going to label shortly and they are going to serve as kind of the dashboard of different things for a plan with Elise. Let's go get this one again. Okay, <sighs> much better. Now, honestly, I feel like this could be enough for me just in terms of how I need this spread to function, but we are gonna keep going. So. Let me pull out my functional icons. I have these stickers from Proud Sticker Designs. So I'm going to take one and we're going to put this for Etsy over here. This isn't from Proud Sticker Designs. This is from Her Courage to Plan. Um, and then Instagram, I need, I've got a lot over here. Zoom, I need. Planning, I need Patreon, yes. Film, yes. And YouTube, yes. Okay, so this will be my YouTube schedule for the week. These will be videos to film for the week. These will be things to do for Patreon. I usually switch up the order of these or the placement of them, like towards the end of the month or the beginning of a new month when there's a lot of next month prep things for Patreon, I'll use a longer list here. But because we're mid-month, um, a lot of the setup things that I need to do have already been taken care of. So I'm not as concerned about making sure, like I don't need as big of a list. All right, now Tuesday, I'm gonna bring in this green. Tuesday I have it's Thursday, <laughs> Tuesday, I have a Zoom. So we're gonna use one of these like video recording stickers right here. And then let me just take a look. 17th, that's the wrong week. The 10th, that's the 11th. Okay, there is a Caliber Plan release on the 11th. So stay tuned to my channel this week to see what is coming out and we'll put this, I'm gonna put it a little bit lower actually. We'll put this right over here. Okay, so those are the boxes that I need. And now we are going to do Instagram icons. These will correspond to 
the videos that are being posted each day. So um, I know that my videos go up the night before, I usually consider it the next day. So like this video will go up Saturday night, but I'll write it Sunday in my planner. It's just like when I first started making YouTube videos, I thought that 10 o'clock was a good time because I was nervous. I was anxious about sharing this part of my life or do, sharing that way. And I was like, and I go to sleep at about 1030. So I was like, you know what, if I put it up at 10, that means that I'm going to pretty much sleep through most of the first set of comments and everything. And we can just wake up in the morning and see how it goes because I was nervous that I was going to spend all of my time tracking, like just refreshing, refreshing to see what the views and the comments looked like and things like that. So that was kind of how it came to be 10 p.m. my time. And then in over two years, we've just kind of stuck with it. Sometimes, of course, there are other times that I need to do like um, if it coordinates with a happy planner release or it's a collaboration with someone or something like that. But I think for the most part, it's worked. The only time it doesn't work, and I hope I don't jinx myself saying this, but sometimes it's like 10.01 and I just glance at my phone. I try to make a habit of that, like just glancing at my YouTube studio to see that everything is going and there's no video. So, um... That usually means that I maybe posted it on Patreon as an early access video and I forgot to schedule it. Or there have been other times where someone will send me a message like shortly after 10 and be like, your video just went up and there's no sound. So if in terms of the, um, the ability to make sure that everything is good, doesn't always work when it comes to putting my videos up right before I go to bed but that's not the norm. And again, hope I don't jinx myself saying that, but it's just kind of how it is. So for the most part, I think we're typically, we're typically good. Um, let's bring in these purple. So these bullets are gonna give me about three to-dos a day. And sometimes it'll end up being more, sometimes it'll end up being less. So there was a, a day recently where I filmed three videos on a weekday. I did one before work. This is a before work video. I did one on my lunch break and I did one after work. That's a lot of videos for me for a weekday in addition to working an eight hour day, but it was all in preparation of going on this trip. So um, there might be other days where there's just not a lot that I need to do because I have other plans that typically will end up being one of the weekend days. All right, now I wouldn't mind bringing in a floral over here. I don't know that I 100% need to. I think that it might be a nice touch, but again, like I feel like this spread is really nicely decorated and more importantly, it's really nicely functional for me. So I don't actually know that I need to do anything else. And I think we might leave it as is. I mean, I could just bring in a floral on this side. I know we do have this little pumpkin one, but I feel like it can't hurt to do this. But then I think I'm gonna leave it, leave it there. So like this can come in here without taking up any functional space. And honestly, I think we're set. Um, I don't know if Fall Florals Volume 2 is available. I feel like it might be sold out, but I will, Heather's shop is always linked in the description of um, my videos in case you are interested and proud sticker designs, these icons that I used, you can always save using code at least 20 on your order that is linked in as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really like this spread. I think it's clean and I'm actually super happy with it. So um, thanks again for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time.